In this video, we shall discuss how to calculate rent-free accommodation under salaries chart. For the purpose of calculating rent-free accommodation, we have to classify employees into two types. One is government employee and the other is non-government employee. And based on the type of accommodation given, we can classify the accommodation into unfurnished accommodation and furnished accommodation. Okay, what is furnished and unfurnished accommodation? Here, the employer is giving a house in which uh, certain facilities like uh, AC, washing machine, fridge, likewise, if certain facilities are attached to that accommodation, then it is called as furnished accommodation. If furnishing is not provided, uh, AC, fridge, likewise, if these furnishes are not provided, it is called unfurnished accommodation. Okay. Now, if the employer is giving an unfurnished accommodation to a government employee, then the value of rent-free accommodation is the amount that is determined as per government rules. Whatever is the amount or the value that is fixed under government rules, that will be the value of rent-free accommodation. Okay. If furnished accommodation is provided, then we have to add 10% of cost of furniture. That is, whatever the amount that we have derived under this one under unfurnished accommodation to that we have to add cost of furniture if it is a furnished accommodation. So we shall try working out a problem with this uh, condition. Look here look into the question Mr. A is a government employee and is residing in a furnished house. So this tells us, us that the employee is a government employee and the house is a furnished house. Okay. His salary is 60,000 per month. The rent of the unfurnished house as per government rules is 2,000 per month. Fair rental value is given. Furniture costing rupees 1 lakh is provided to him. We have to calculate the value of rent-free accommodation. Okay. For calculating the value of rent-free accommodation of a government employee, we have to look into the value as per government rule. Look into the question. The value as per government rule is rupees 2000 per month. So, value as per government rule, it is 2000 per month. So, 2000 into 12, we will get 24,000. If the house is an unfurnished house, if furnishing is not provided, if the house is an unfurnished house, this 24,000 is the value of rent-free accommodation. Since this is a furnished house, what should we do? We should add cost of furniture. Look into the question. The cost of furniture, furniture costing rupees 1 lakh is given. So, on this 1 lakh, we have to calculate 10 percentage. 10,000 will, will be added. On the value of uh, furniture, we will calculate 10 percentage. You will get 10,000. Add this with the value as per government rules. 34,000 is the value of rent-free accommodation. So, calculation of rent-free accommodation for a government employee is very easy. If it is unfurnished accommodation, value as per government rule. If it is a furnished accommodation, add cost of furniture at 10 percentage. Okay. Okay. As I already told you, uh, uh, we have to classify employee into two types. Government employee and non-government employee. That is other employee. If he comes under other employee category, you have to check whether the house is owned. The first thing that we have to check is, whether the employer is the owner of the house or the employer has hired the house. This is not employee, this is employer. Whether the employee, employer is the owner of the house or he has hired the house. Hired the house is nothing but he has taken the house on rent. Okay, if the employer is the owner of the house, then look for the population. If the population is about 25 lakhs, then 15% of the salary will be the value of rent-free accommodation. If the population is between 10 to 25 lakhs, 10% 10 of salary. If the population is less than 10 lakhs, 7.5% of salary. Okay. 
on the other hand if the employer has rented the property if he has taken the property on rent then higher charges higher charges is nothing but rent paid the rent paid or 15 percentage of salary whichever is less okay apart from this if the house is a furnished accommodation i have already told you what is a furnished accommodation if the house is a furnished accommodation we have to add 10 percentage of furniture cost to the value that we have calculated to that value we have to add 10 percentage of furniture cost and the other important point is if any amount is paid by the employee that is if the employer for the purpose of providing rent free accommodation if he deducts any amount from the employee's salary then the amount that has been deducted must be minus now should be deducted now this point you will understand when we work out a problem i have taken a problem to explain you this so when i am explaining that i'll tell you this in detail and the other thing is salary we have been talking here 15 percent of salary 10 percent likewise so what is salary here salary means basic pay allowance which is under terms of employment bonus commission payable monthly or otherwise so this is the meaning of salary now let us see how to work out problem by applying these rules a company has provided a residential accommodation to an employee a company so this means that he is non government employee he will come under other employee category fair rental value of the house is given salary is given okay so here in this question there is no information that the house is taken on rent so the house is owned by the employer the house is owned owner employer is the owner of the house okay if the employer is the owner of the house what should we do we should check the population based on the population we have to calculate the percentage isn't it okay now look into the question again from the following particulars compute the value of rent free accommodation if two subdivisions are given subdivision a the house is situated whose population is more than 25 lakhs so if population is more than 25 lakhs how much percentage 15 percentage so we shall calculate for the first one uh, for situation a value of rent free accommodation is what 15 percentage of salary here only salary is given 6 lakhs dearness allowance commission bonus that and all is not given so 6 lakhs into 15 percentage we will get 90000 rupees this is the answer this is the value of rent free accommodation okay for situation a now we shall work out for situation b what is given under situation b population is less than 10 lakhs if it is less than 10 lakhs then we will take 7.5 percentage of salary so value of rent free accommodation is salary is 6 lakhs on 6 lakhs we have to calculate 7.5 percentage so we will get 45,000 This is the value of rent free accommodation. So I hope you understood this answer. I have taken one more problem. Look into this question. A company that means he is a non-government employee took a house on rent. So here the employer is not the owner of the house. He has taken, a, he has taken the house on rent. From the following information compute the value of rent free accommodation so if the employer has taken the house on rent how will we calculate the rent free accommodation it is higher charges higher charges or 15 percentage of salary whichever is less isn't it this is the condition that we saw so either higher charges or 15 percentage of salary whichever is less look into the question rent paid is given so higher charges is nothing but rent paid so 
rent paid is what? 60,000. Rent paid is 60,000. Then 15 percentage of salary. 15 percentage of salary. How much is salary given? Salary is 5 lakhs. On 5 lakhs, you calculate 15 percentage. You will get 75,000. So out of these two values, what should we take? We should take the least value. So the least value is 60,000. 60,000 is what we have to take. Okay, then cost of furniture is given. I already told you. If the house is a furnished house, then 10% cost of furniture should be added. So add cost of furniture. How much is given? 60,000. On 60,000 calculate 10 percentage. How much will we get? We will get 6,000. So the answer is 66,000. If this is unfurnished accommodation, 60,000 is the value of house. Since furniture is given, we are adding 10 percentage cost of furniture and the value of rent free accommodation is rent free accommodation is 66,000. Okay, look into the last point that is given in the question. Rent charged from employee's salary. This is what I was talking about. If the employer is deducting any amount for providing rent-free accommodation, if the employer is deducting any amount from employee's salary, then this amount must be deducted. So, less rent charged. Rent charged. How much it is? 1000 per month. So, 1000 into 12, it is 12,000. So, from 66,000, if you deduct 12,000, we will get 54,000. This 54,000 is the value of concessional rent. This is rent-free accommodation that is provided. 66,000 is the value of rent-free accommodation. And the employer is deducting 12,000 for the purpose of providing rent-free accommodation. So, 54,000 is the value of concessional rent. So, rent-free accommodation is very easy. We are dividing employees into two types. Government employee, non-government employee. If he is government employee, value of value determined as per the government rules. That is the rent-free accommodation. If furniture is provided, add 10 percentage cost of furniture. If he is a non-government employee, then if the, if the house is owned, if the employer is the owner of the house, look into the population and do the calculation. If the house is taken on rent, then higher charges are 15 percentage of salary. So, I hope you understood this. Thank you for watching.